Here's another one, guys. Another leaky piece of shit. This one's a Lennox. So I don't just hate Goodman. I had to dry charge this one with 100. And, well, it was it started out at 110 pounds of nitrogen. When I got here, there was absolutely no refrigerant in the system. Completely tore it apart. Pulled the evaporator out. Was looking for oil. Unfortunately, my leak detector is dead. So I'm relying to old school methods right now, which is just fine. Uh, started soap bubbling and everything in here. I was hitting the TA, or I'm sorry, the uh, reversing valve. Everything looks good. All these fittings are fine. I even followed the line set to the evaporator. That looks good. We're starting to uh, get the top of this TXV because the sensing bulb cap tube is broken. And then came to this side and started hitting all these U-tubes here. And then I hit this one right here. See what's happening there? See my bubbles, bubbles blowing away? There's a big leak right there. And that is for the equalizing tube for the outdoor TXV and heating mode. So that will need to be replaced or just re-welded. See? I don't hate one unit. I hate them all. They all suck. Look at that shit. There's where all our refrigerant went. I don't see anything else happening down here. Uh, I really lost our charge right there. Let's see if I can't fix that. Really quick. That should just be a quick braze job. I'm gonna have to rope it up. I had to rope my nitrogen tank up here. So that's gotta go down now. I don't have any more nitrogen left. So that's what we're gonna have to do now. I'm gonna have to put it back together and braze that first. And unfortunately, I have nothing to do a pressure test with, but we'll back in it. It's gonna be long. Long run. It sucks because I gotta rope everything up here. And I gotta bring up the vacuum pump and everything's gotta come up by rope. So it's a lot of trips up and down this ladder. And this is quite the ways up. <laughs> Fuck. See, they all suck. They all suck.